In this video, I'm gonna show you a free VST that you can use to make complex chord progressions with one finger. Then I'm gonna show you where you can get free chord preset packs that have tons of chords for many different genres. With these tools, you'll be able to crush beat block, experiment with new chords, and finish music way faster. All right, so let's get into it. So if you haven't been using Ripcord, you've been missing out. It's been out for a few years and it's one of the best chord VSTs that you can use to make complex chord progressions in seconds. And the best part about it is it's free. You can easily download it from the link in the description. If you need help with installing Ripcord or instructions on how to use it, you can find that underneath the download link. I have also linked a video walkthrough in the description that goes over how to do everything in Ripcord. So for this video, I'm just gonna go over the basics so that you can start producing right now. All right, so all you have to do to set it up is go into the settings of your instrument and change the MIDI input port to whatever number you want. Then go into your ripcord settings and change the MIDI output port to the same number and that's it. To add a new preset, click this gear button at the top right corner and go to input preset files. Find the location of your .rpc files and then select them. When you click the presets button, it should be in there. All right, so in the GUI you have the record button, which records MIDI, the note velocity switches, transpose switches, and the strum switches. These knobs change how hard and soft you play the notes. This controls the direction of the note velocity strum. This controls the amount of note velocity strum and this controls the randomness of the note velocity strum. These knobs over here control the timing of when the note is played. This controls the randomness of the note strum. This controls the amount of note strum, and this controls the direction of the note strum. These are the transpose knobs. When you click this button, you'll see some keys light up. If you click one note above this red note, this will transpose everything one semitone. You can use this to transpose your chord progressions up or down, however you want. Now this last button is the MIDI bank. Once you record your chord progressions, you'll see it light up. You can then drag and drop your chord progressions onto whatever instrument you want. Sometimes I use my mouse, but using a MIDI keyboard is way easier. So now that you know how to use Ripcord, let me tell you the best kept secret. So Ripcord already comes with a bunch of presets ready to go. But in the description, I left a link to another YouTube video by Musician Paradise that gives you access to tons of chord presets for Ripcord for free. You can quickly look through whichever chord packs you want or you can just download them all. Okay, so now you have all the chords that you could ever need, but that's just the start of making a beat, right? Next, you should watch this video to learn how to spice up your chord progressions and add melodies to them. I'll see you over there.